Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. I am just the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven. And I am God's dirt. I have been warning for ten years that bad times were coming. Well, they are upon us now. Did I lie? I want to tell you more about what I saw. I saw people jumping out of high-rise office buildings and other tall buildings. I saw people jumping off of tall bridges, intentionally crashing their cars into oncoming cars or trucks or, or even into bridge abutments at high speed. I saw people running around screaming, weeping, wailing, and gnashing their teeth. I saw people go mad and kill their entire family and then kill their neighbors and keep killing until they were stopped or they killed themselves. I saw people strip off their clothes and run naked in the street, screaming as if in pain. I saw people shake their fist up at God and curse his name for what was happening in the world. I saw riots everywhere and everything was burning. Everyone seemed to go mad. I saw nations also go mad and even they did unspeakable things. Everything was closed. Money was worthless. Your life savings was gone. Everything you worked so hard for your whole life was now gone. And the people, they went mad. I saw Satan dancing in the flames and laughing at the people's pain and suffering. Now, even gold and silver were worthless. The rich in their underground, underground bunkers, they will smile, much like Satan, thinking they are safe. But their safety is only temporary, only for a short time. But eventually even they will be dancing in the flames with Satan. Everyone is screaming, weeping and wailing, as if they were being tortured, because they were. I saw earthquakes all over America, but especially uh, in the Cascadia region off the Oregon and Washington coast, and then in central and southern California, and then the New Madrid area and southern Missouri. I saw the Mississippi River widen up to 100 miles wide in some areas, and it split America in half. I saw a very major, uh, a very major tsunami on the west coast, and then an, uh, then an even larger tsunami on the east coast. The east and west coast of America were totally destroyed. Jeremiah 51, 42. The sea has come upon Babylon, and she is covered with the multitude of the waves thereof. Bloody riots everywhere. Civil war. Foreign troops invade America. Nuclear weapons set off over ma major American cities. No one could take a bath as there was not even any uh, clean water, and uh, not even any drinking water. So there was uh, certainly no water to take a bath with. Uh, unless you had a nearby lake or stream to bathe in. But even that water was contaminated with blood and bodies and dead animals, so almost no one bathed in that place in that time. There was no power, so no water, no lights, no heat, no air. Living in a home was more like living in an above-ground cave. All hospitals, clinics, and doctor's offices were closed. There was no medications of any kind. All the police, fire, and ambulance services were closed. And there was no phone service, so no one could call. No one could call anyone, uh, even if you tried. And if you get into a serious problem, uh, there was no one coming to help you. You were on your own. So consequently, everyone was filthy in rags and had not bathed in months. And most looked and smelled like they had not bathed in years. Also, babies and young children have disappeared. And for those who know about the rapture, they were but were not rapture ready, they take a small comfort in knowing that their children are, are with Jesus in paradise. But for those who do not know about the rapture, this is more pain and suffering heaped upon already unbearable suffering. I saw mothers stab themselves in the heart for not being able to bear the torment of their missing babies. The flames grew higher and hotter, and Satan was still dancing in the flames, all the while smiling as he thought he had won. I saw that every town and every city had blood and bodies in the streets. I saw that almost every yard had bodies lying in the yard. The smell was unbearable, and the smell alone, night and day, never, never stopped, was enough to drive many people mad. 
you could not get away from that smell of dead and decaying bodies everywhere. And there was no one to pick up all the bodies, so they just piled up. In that time and in that place, there was no food. And parents will trade their children for a handful of beans or rice. Now cannibalism now runs rampant across America, as there is nothing to eat. People will eat their pits, then rats, then leaves, bark, grass, weeds, to try to stop those terrible gnawing pains in their belly from being so hungry. Then, then they will eat people. Cannibalism is coming to America in a very big way. Then the people who become, then the people will become something other than human. Their DNA will be changed. But there will be a faithful remnant, God's tribulation saints, that will not take the mark of the beast and will not allow their DNA to be changed to Satan's DNA. Even though they miss the rapture, they only now will they devote their life to Jesus and his word. These people will be treated very harshly and they will be put to death. They will die for their faith and their testimony in Jesus Christ. I do not know the time frame or the order of these events. I just know what I was shown that is coming to America. And now, with the way the world is, you can see that we are headed to that place. It is predicted by men and also by the Bible that in the tribulation the world will lose from 7 billion to 7.5 billion people. Matthew 10:39. He that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it. America will be destroyed in one hour. As it is written, it will be done. Much pain and suffering will come before we get there. Now, do you see why it is so very important to be rapture ready to avoid all these things to come upon the earth? Because all the, all the signs are in and we fly away home so soon, very soon. And the April eclipse uh, is a very major sign from God that God will no longer protect America and that judgment comes. The Holy Spirit gave me this. Now praying for America is like praying for a dead man. And you know why we do not pray for the dead. Their fate is sealed the moment they die. If you have lost, if you have lost loved ones, maybe you should show them this video. Please like, subscribe, share, and repost this video everywhere you can. These are the last days, and we are that last generation. God bless you and yours mightily. And God keep you and yours in his loving arms just like he held me. You have been a blessing and a gift from God, and we give thanks to God for sending you our way. The rapture is all so close now, so very close. Hang on tight to your faith and trust in God, as there is nothing else. With much love and more grace from above. Amen. And we love you also very much. We have to hang on. We have to hang on doggedly to our faith and trust in God and trust in God. These are, these are prophetic days we're living in. In this world, this world is, is so full of sin and abomination. We have to remove ourselves from the world. We have to separate ourselves from the world. And we have to be that holy remnant. We have to be, we have to be the faithful remnant of God. So we pray, we pray that you hang on to your faith, that you trust in God in these last days. Because God is not one to lie. He will, he will see us through. He will protect us. And one day he will take us home. And we love you all so very much. God be with you. God be with, with all of us. We love you so much. Amen.